AT40 originates in Hollywood. I'm Casey Kasem, and here's our second new English group in a row. But this one has the song that debuts highest this week. At number 33, here's the group called Dire Straits, with a song titled Sultans of Swing. Get a shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park with me. The English act Dire Straits, and the song at number 33, highest debuting tune of the week, Sultans of Swing. American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Now, we're up to the new number one song in the USA. It's by a rock band whose big break came from a package they left on a disc jockey's doorstep. This is a story of a stroke of luck, incredibly good luck, that turned an amateur group instantly into a professional recording act. The story begins in London back in 1977. Mark Knopfler and his brother David and their friend John Ilsley started jamming together. They were just amateur musicians, but like all amateurs, they had their dreams. They got better as the months went by, and more serious about their music. They added drummer Pick Withers, and they cut a demo tape of five of their songs. But instead of sending it to a record company where they thought it would get lost among hundreds of other tapes, they had another idea. They left a copy on the doorstep of famous BBC disc jockey Charlie Gillette. All they hoped for was some constructive criticism and advice. But what they got was much more. Charlie Gillette listened to the tape. He liked what he heard, especially one song. And so the next day, he played it on his show. Charlie said, I decided to put the tape on and bump some other songs off my playlist. I liked it that much. Well, Charlie Gillette's DJ instincts were pretty good. Because that song became a hit in England and in the United States. The song called Sultans of Swing. Well, now, six years after that first hit and debut album, that group from England have their first number one album in America. It's called Brothers in Arms. And from that number one album comes their first number one song. The new number one song in the USA is Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. With the new number one song in the USA, that's the six-man band formed back in 1977 in London, England. Dire Straits and Money for Nothing. Well, that's it. The 40 most popular records in America, determined by Billboard magazine for the week ending September 21st, 1985. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by ABC Watermark. Our mailing address is American Top 40, Post Office Box 2000, Hollywood, California. Zip code 90028. Our executive producer is Tom Brown's producer, Don Bastani. With Matt Wilson, Meryl Schindler, Daryl Morton, Dana Schwartzwalder, Ann Stroecker, Alan Kaufman, Mike Williams, Ron Shapiro, and Stu Jacobs. I'm Casey Casey. Join me next week, and again, we'll count down the 40 most popular songs in the USA. Till then, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. most popular songs of the year. I'm Casey Kasem. Here's the hit that was inspired by someone watching MTV. The leader of the band, Dire Straits, Mark Knopfler, says he was in a New York City appliance store when he overheard one of the workers putting down the acts he saw on MTV. Mark Knopfler borrowed a pen and paper and a song was born. 
The result was a blockbuster that spent three weeks at number one and is the eighth most popular song of 1985. Money for nothing. Dire Straits. Look at that, look at that. Number eight among the top 100 of the year, that's Money for Nothing by Dire Straits from their number one album, Brothers in Arms. Casey's Coast to Coast.